Today on Destination Polaris, we're off to the Southern California desert where a few first timers reach new heights and some seasoned vets show us their old stomping grounds. Destination Polaris starts right now. Destination Polaris is presented by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Welcome to Destination Polaris. We're at Ironwoods Resort in Ocotillo Wells, California. This week, whether you're a seasoned vet or a brand new rider, it's all about getting out there. Our ride command map has us 100 miles inland from San Diego and just north of the Mexican border. This sandy expanse is an off-roading dream. This is the off-road capital of the world. With thousands of miles of riding, the desert can be intimidating for riders of any level. The crew at Ironwoods Off-Road Rentals gets that. It's their job to make sure exploring the area is fun and easy. All you have to do is show up. So you come out here, you rent a machine from us. I send you out in the desert. You can stay here. We have a hotel, 12 room hotel and a store. We have a trailer park here also, and we have full hookups. So people have month to month trailers or you can stay for the night. Stay for a long time or a little time. Either way, Travis is here to show you the way. Hey, Travis, yeah. you want to just point out where we're headed today? Yeah, we're here at Ironwood Off Road Riddles. We're going to head out to Double Slide, then we're going to go to Shell Reef. Cool, and this is something that kind of a, a new rider could handle on their own. Oh, absolutely, yes. Cool. We're super stoked to have you all here. Perfect, because today I've invited a crew of new riders from Los Angeles to come along for the ride. I live in Santa Monica, California. Definitely much different. I've done it once in Vegas. They have all of the, I think it's the salt flats, I'm not sure. Um, but it was just ATVs, four-wheelers, nothing crazy like this. I haven't really had that much experience in side-by-side. -side. Experienced or not, Hannah, John, and Josh are ready to hit the sand. But first, a little side-by-side -side safety. Everyone's in long pants. We've got our, our feet covered up. Gloves, helmets with goggles, or helmets with a full face shield, obviously, for protection. For the new riders, if you're driving, if you're riding, just make sure you keep your arms inside the vehicle at all times. Time to gear up. Try this one on, tell me if you need a larger one or a smaller one. We'll bring them in the office and we'll go over the desert a little bit and tell them about the machine. And if they decide to rent it, then we'll take them through the paperwork and get them in a car and send them out in the desert. We have helmets, goggles, everything you need to ride. You're gonna adjust your wheel up and down right here. I'm riding with my girl Hannah today. Lots of trust, lots of faith in her. She got this, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Girl's car. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. Let's get out there. Super simple, like on, gear, go. Like, that's it. So we have a lot of different terrain here. We have a lot of desert, we have sand, can be rocky, can be hard packed. First couple miles, just super easy. Getting used to the vehicle, getting comfortable before we got a little bit more action, some hills. I think I was a little timid at first. You know, just like it's a big vehicle, but once I got going, I got more comfortable and it's not as intimidating as it looks. There's no better way to get comfortable than rugged hill climbs. It was a little scary at first, uh, but then once you kind of can see what's there, you, I felt a little bit more comfortable and more comfortable going like faster. Hannah handled her first obstacle like a pro. I'm scared of heights, but I like to face my fears uh, head on. 
the first timers turn up the heat when we get back on Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Rockford Fosgate, purpose built audio. Full throttle battery, the one that works. And by Super ATV, the leader in aftermarket parts and accessories. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. Whether you're coming for a long weekend or just a day trip, Ironwoods Off-Road Rentals is a perfect escape from the city. Being able to escape and take a day for myself to just kind of do some recreation and be out in the, you know, in the desert of California, which is only a couple hours away from home, which is crazy, right? It's nice change though, just to have some peace and not be constantly in the hustle and bustle of LA. So I appreciate that it's a ways out here. It took no time at all for rookie riders John, Josh, and Hannah to adapt. First off, the, the weather was perfect. You know, I think we're in the, probably in the 70s today with a little bit of wind. Early on in the day, I, I wanted to get used to the, the vehicle and immediately it was like, okay, training wheels are off, let's just go for it. A few miles in, we find the perfect place to do that. Devil's Slide. The name might sound daunting, but Devil's Slide is an ideal spot to get to know your machine. You know, I, I like to send them out there so they can do their own thing and get to know the machine and ride how they want. They don't have to keep up with anyone. They can go at their own pace, so they can sort of do what they want. We got to do some more fun play where we were in the open area and got to go fast, do a bunch of circles and still do a little bit of a hill climb if we wanted to. So it was, a, it was a good variety of trying different things in the car. My personal favorite part was just uh, when we got to let loose and have some fun in the, uh, the Devil's Playground area. I was get, getting to kick up some, some dirt and sand. This crew is not afraid to rip it up. How was it out there? It was great. How did it feel? You feel like you have <laughs> No, a I'm like I just right came now. out of Twilight Zone. No, it was great. Like ripping down this alley and then drifting along here is so much fun. So much fun. It was such an adrenaline rush and I just wanted to keep going faster and faster. I started out a little timid and then I got real confident. It shows you how reliable the vehicle is cuz I'm like doing circles it all worked out and it's it's a it was a lot of fun all that fun we've worked up an appetite we left devil slide we headed out to shell reef that's an artificial reef that used to be underneath the water we we hang out there we had some lunch nothing better can't beat pizza bob hipshin delivered our pizzas out there to, in a jeep high speed delivery nothing beats delivery in the middle of the desert Akatio Wells Recreation Area has plenty of places to stop. Both scenic and just plain odd. We headed out to um, Pumpkin Patch. A pumpkin patch in the desert? And that's a bunch of sandstones out there. Looks like pumpkins. Just another neat area to go visit. Ah, that makes more sense. Have you guys ever seen anything like this before? On my last trip to Mars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel like that. It feels like another planet, for sure. There are no rock pumpkin patches in LA. The pumpkin patch was very interesting. You know, just a lot of completely round and smooth rocks in the middle of nowhere. These, you would not want to carve. <laughs> Before we 
call it a day. We stop for one last chance to play. Typically what I see when they come back, they have big smiles and they're all just having fun and you can tell they really enjoyed themselves out there. Pretty easy just to jump in and do it like most everyone drives. So if you, if you can do that, you can do this. Now that I've had the opportunity to experience the, the outdoors and the ATV and UTV and side-by-sides and all of that fun stuff, you know, it's definitely something that I'm gonna be able to now pass on to my kids when they get older. Looks like the votes are in. The Ironwoods Desert Experience gets an A+. More desert adventure when we get back on Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Walton's, everything but the meat. Aluma Trailers, Aluma Adventure, take fun anywhere. Razorback Off-Road, hardcore products for your side-by-side. -side. And by Shock Therapy, the premier UTV suspension tuning company. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. Our SoCal adventure brought us through the Ocotillo Wells Recreation Center and now onto the Superstition Mountains with some new and old friends. Today's adventure begins on the south end of the Superstition Mountains. I have an entirely new California riding crew, and even though they're experienced, we'll still want to know where we're going and how we're going to get there. Polaris Ride Command has us covered, and today's leader, Scott Lesser, is a pro. Today we're going to head out to the Big Reef, which is about 34 minutes, 35 minutes out here. A place called Sanctuary, and another place called Stack Rock. I've never been here before, so I'm going to need a map. <laughs> and okay. I hear that you got one, right? Got it right here. All right, this is the key. The key today, our whole plan is right there. So what do we do with that thing? We're going to plug this into the car, and then we're going to go ahead and move the, the files over from the thumb drive to the actual ride command in the car. Select the rides, rides or waypoints we want, which is the big reef ride. Oh, wow. So he just clicks right over into it. Then we'll do the sanctuary, then the waypoint two. This thing is great. It's like a treasure map. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. You got the color of the ride all the way out and back. Not that I didn't trust you guys guiding me, but, you know, backup <laughs> never hurts. <clears throat> no truer words have ever been said. X marks the spot. Let's go. It's a very popular off-road riding place. It's nice and easy. It's the first place from San Diego that you can get to. It's about an hour and a half from San Diego. The terrain here is similar to Ocotillo Wells, but more mountainous. Which is why, just a couple miles in, Scott couldn't help himself. It appeared to be a Jeep trail, so I went up to the top of it, and it was a little two-track all the way to the top, real rocky and some steep spots, and when you got to the top, it went to a single track. And that was kind of the end of the trail, so it was a turn around and come back down. But the views were amazing from up there. Turns out, Scott's adventurous ways are contagious. I've been coming to the desert since I was a kid. Man, we just started these super crazy rides in the Razors just last year. My Uncle Scott, he had a razor and he was thinking about buying this one actually. My dad went and he bought Scott's before he could get to it. These things are beasts, they'll go over anything. No matter what terrain, we faced everything on one of the rides we went on. Mud, sand, water, they just tear right through that, no problem. There are a couple features that have really helped Jason and his dad as they get to know their new machine. Being able to communicate is like really important because other guys will be saying stuff and my dad will be like, what do you say? And I'll pick up on it and I'll be able to tell my dad. Speaking of comms, along for the ride are two guys who know a thing or two about communication. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Steve and Steve from Rugged Radios. We get a lot of work done and it's a good time. Rugged radios, we do communications for high noise environments. Uh, Off-road is our specialty. It's what we love to do, it's our passion. When you can communicate, especially when you're riding in a group, when you can communicate from the front to the back all the way, we make sure that 
There's never a rider that gets lost. With our intercom and radio, the intercom, it controls all the in-car communication. So this is a four-seater car. You can have your kids in the back. They all have speakers, just like in this helmet, and mics, so you can literally talk to each other the whole time while you're in the car. You can't spell function without F-U-N. And Polaris Ride Command maximizes that by letting you connect with your phone, play music, and chat with buddies in other machines. When you're out on the trail, you know, things get noisy. You know, you've got your motor, you've got just tires and rocks and dirt and everything else, and it gets loud. I think what, what I love about being able to communicate inside the car is you can take your whole family out and talk the entire time. 10 miles into our ride, what started as a calm and sunny California day made a quick turn. We went from beautiful sunny skies to hurricane force winds and sand blowing everywhere and rain and didn't get wet. Never hit the ground. It was a lot of fun. Nothing is going to stop these guys from having fun. When the storm came in and we were kind of running from the storm. That was pretty fun. Time to check out a local favorite, Stack Rock. Kind of a neat place. It's just a traditional thing for people to come out and they stack rocks up. Yeah, it's almost like a clay and, and rock formation together it dried out. You kind of put your your handprint on it, I guess, but in a very eco-friendly way. <laughs> right, and plus trying to make art out of it. That's right. you know, that's kind of a neat thing, too. It looks like it would be lighter. Yeah. Like I said, it, all, it looks like almost like a, a, well, it has like wood grain in some, some of them, so I'm surprised it's this heavy. Well, just think of some of the winds that we get coming through I'm here or 60, say, 70 mile an hour winds but, and, they're, and they're still standing. True, these rock stacks are resilient. Trust me, we've seen it firsthand. You find some weird stuff out here in the desert. Find out what this is all about when we get back on Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by RZ Mask. Get 99.9% .9 filtration from dust and dirt. Flow fast. Riders need to flow fast. Polaris Adventures. Adventure everywhere. And by Switch Pros, programmable switch panel power systems. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. The SoCal Desert is off-roading paradise. You've got every sort of terrain you can think of. You have sand washes, you have sand dunes, you have mud hills, you have trails. There's all kinds of stuff here, anything you can think of for right And that's one of the things I love about the desert. You, know, you think the desert, you think just flat, wide open spaces, but there's really so much. I mean, there's canyons, there's mud caves, and there's formations, and giant rocks, and it's pretty cool. went out towards uh, Painted Gorge, but we followed some washes down through some canyons and then up through one of the roads that leads up to the Painted Gorge. In life, sometimes the gate is open, and other times the gate is closed. Yeah, they close it from January 1st through July 1st for the, the uh, mountain goats. That would have been nice to know, Scott. Today, the gate's closed to machines, so we'll have to enter the old-fashioned way. I feel like we're uh, walking across the desert. Oh yeah, we are. No hands, no hands. To the top. Hey, have you seen a 7-Eleven? Can I really cool. use a drink of water? That's super cool. Purple, green, red, pink. Once you get in there, the, the formations of, in all the different colors of the material around there, the colors are just amazing. With a backdrop like this, you have to pose for a pic. Yeah! Then it's back to the trail. The sights to and from Painted Gorge were amazing. 
But after a long walk in the desert, nothing sounds better than a cold drink. A nice place to sit and relax and drink an all Palmer. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Wait, it's my mom. Hey, mom. How long has this been here, do we know? 25, 30 years. Really? It's kind of neat because you can see it from the freeway when you come back from the desert or the river. Yeah. And you see people hanging out down here. So cool. Just keeps growing. And it looks like people have kind of like kept it up. Nicely done. It's not a yeah. bunch of, of junk, <laughs> you know? It's cool. A friend of mine who I worked with with Cal Fire, and he ended up dying in the fire. Oh, wow. So it's the Matt Will. Memorial March. Well, I know that my buddy Ernie and Kelly cannot stand the Devon, Denver Broncos. <laughs> they are some big Charger fans. So <clears throat> we will put that right there. Boom. DP was here. Leaving our mark on the sandbar seems like a fitting way to end our desert trip. Cheers. But before we go. Oh! You missed. That's why it's not live TV, people. There we go. Nothing but net. New or experienced, the desert always has off-roaders coming back for more. It's addictive. We went on one big ride, and ever since then, it's like every weekend, I just want to go back and ride in it again. Rent one, take it out, go on a, a, a day ride. If you can go on a couple day ride, it's great. It's not just about riding around in circles in the dunes. It's really about getting out with your friends and family and just going places and seeing things that you'll never see from a car.